Hey, this is Mike with Christian Meds. This is the eighth part of the Knowledge Grants of Breaking Down the Occult. I think I messed up the numbers last week, but um, so this week we're going to co cover we're going to cover horology. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Seances and tarot cards. So basically. Basically, it's a study of shapes or protrusions of the skull based upon the description or belief revealed in characters of a mental capacity. So basically, they're talking about just basically you've ever seen those skulls with different segments, you know, with lines drawn on them, with different words written on them. All that basically is what they're talking about there. And they're basically people who are trying to figure out and get knowledge basically on basically what bumps you have on your head and the, the, that type of thing meaning that they mean different things this has never been a proven science it's never been part of what you know uh, mainstream society is actually accepted as as a worthwhile practice so that was the first thing the second thing is seances seances you know are also part of the occult you know that's something that should definitely be avoided anything Basically, a meeting which attempts to communicate with spiritual or the dead spirits and dead loved ones, things like that. You know, one of the things that goes associated with this is a lot of times they do what's called a cold reading, where they're basically, they end up choosing things that end up, um, they're playing a percentages game. They're ending up, you know, there's lots of names that start with certain letters, so they'll... They use the letters T and things like that, which basically, you know, there's lots of names that start with the letter T. So when they have you, they basically um, manipulate you into coming up with a name that falls under that category. And then they ask what the relationship was, and then they end up, you know, but they're really not doing anything that's supernatural. They're actually just playing you for a fool. So um, there's lots of things like that when it comes to these types of things. It's really demonic, really not something you should ever go down. Um, it's one of these things that's either being influenced by a demonic force or it's absolutely somebody just trying to con you, just a con man. And you should be, have enough discernment to realize that and you need to avoid it as Christians in general. And the third thing basically is tarot cards. Tarot cards is basically it's a deck of cards of 78 cards, which uh, has imagery, sy symmetry, or symbolism, and a story. So, the biggest issue with tarot cards, you know, most people will reject tarot cards right away. The issue is a church like Bethel Church basically has made their own set of cards called Destiny Cards. Now, this is where one of the things that really causes problems. You know, here it is, a Christian group, you know, and I think these people's intention was sound and was biblical. I think they really did want to just reach out to people that were New Age. So the way that they thought they could do that is by making their own set of cards with their own set of beliefs behind it. Now, the issue is that you're still saying that a random chance is going to allow these cards to come up in a particular order and I'm going to give that power and my intent is to give that power not the Holy Spirit power but the random chance of these cards now could the Holy Spirit use these cards of course he could but is that the way the Holy Spirit tr truly wants to work in our lives I would say no you know so this is where you know things that People end up manipulating to where they want you to think it's Christian because they want you to think that that um, they've reinvented something. Now, here's where some of the things, you know, there's always crossover, you know, because if you have ever studied, you know, why we celebrate Christmas on December 25th, you realize that that was a pagan holiday. So, because it was a pagan holiday, 
you know, Christians decided to make their own holiday on that day to celebrate the birth of Christ. Now, part of the reason why they chose that day is because they already had it off. You know, so it was a free day to worship, and they didn't want to worship the pagan gods, so they chose a way to worship the God of Christ. Now, when you look at these destiny cards, are they trying to find a way to worship Christ? Or are they trying to find a way to reach out to people that are new age and use something that they're familiar with and change it just enough to make it Christian? Now, I have a lot of problems with these destiny cards. I don't think that that's the way we should be teaching people. Now, don't get me wrong. I use singing bowls. I use new age things in my practice. Okay, but I use these things because they change people's state. My intent is not to do Buddhist practices, not to do Hindu practices, but do ways to change people's fight and flight to rest and relax. Now, how you get to rest and relax to allow the Holy Spirit to start regenerating in your body the way God designed it is a big difference than trying to manipulate people and have power over people and predict, predict the future for people using destiny cards or tarot cards. There's a big difference there. So this is part of the reason why I'm going down this list and trying to break down each thing is so that people understand better why I use the tools I use and how they're different and how they can still be Christian. You know, I can still, I can use, you know, Tai Chi practices to keep my flexibility but I'm not breaking down and trying to do something to manipulate or have power or control over anybody. I'm not trying to find a knowledge through the singing bowl to, to heal the person. The healing happens through rest and relaxation and the Holy Spirit able to manifest in that and allow your body to regenerate naturally. You know, there's lots of ways that we ha ha can prove scientifically that this truly does work. So, that's just some of my ideas this week. I hope you are enjoying these videos, and I'll talk to you again next week.